might be surprised to find out she consistently watches Little House on the Prairie. She wanted, if she wanted to impress people, she'd invite the founding fathers to dinner, but in reality, she'd probably just invite Will Ferrell. She's never had a cavity and is the founder of Today's Mama. It's Rachel Hersher. She's talking about Who's Your Mama. Let's go. That's right, everybody. Who's Your Mama. All right, so this slide doesn't count. I think it's an extra, but I'm just going to say all y'all better recognize who your mama is, and that's what I'm talking about. And on Little House on the Prairie this week, Nellie had a baby, and it was twins. Did anyone see that? <laughs> Super excited. Doc Baker only heard one heartbeat is what he thought, and then two babies came out. <laughs> all right, first of all, I also have three of these. I drive a smoking hot minivan. Mine's way cooler than that, though. Um, and then also, I wear hooded sweatshirts and like sweatpants all the time, and my husband calls it the uniform. I'm a mom. Okay, so it's pretty cool. I'm way cooler than you think, though. I'm on Facebook. I have like 350 friends. I'm on LinkedIn. I have 24, 24 or 2,400 followers on Twitter. I wish I had like 24,000. But there's lots more of me out there. We're all techie and plugged in with our phones and everything we do. So this might have been your mama. That kind of looks like my mama. This is your mama today, totally chilling with her laptop. There's 32 million moms online. 65% are on a social network and 52% are gaming. My mama, my own mama is gaming. So the digital mom, you guys need to get to know the digital mom. Moms are online for very different reasons. There's a cool study by Razorfish that just came out that y'all need to learn about if you're in business. So some moms are online for self-expression. These are the moms that wallpaper their, their sites. You have utilitarian moms looking for info. Groupsters, they're the one ones joining all kinds of groups, people just looking for info, and then hyperconnectors, people like me who want 25,000 people to follow them on Twitter for no reason. <laughs> so one size fits all. If you're marketing to moms, like we don't just wear Dockers and things like that anymore. We're way cooler than that. So get to know us. The Razorfish study is good, Lodome study, the soccer mom myth, and when I speak of Dockers, I speak of the kinds from the late 80s, the kind that were a little too tight on the backside. Generation Y. <laughs> this started in 1978. I was born in January of 1978. So these women are more entrepreneurial. They're more plugged in. They're actually pushing another baby boom. We are more likely to have three to four kids on average across the country. So moms are brand evangelists. Walmart has 11 bloggers, which has grown to 21 representing them, evangelizing their brands. Pepperidge Farms just launched Fishful Thinking, Moms Fishfully Thinking. And then Method has the Method Mavens. They arm the Method Mavens with cleaning products and they have parties. So we love to have fun. Give us free stuff like Wii Fits, which Nintendo was smart and did. Um, Italian style, we had a blog party with them where they fed us, another good thing. Blue Lemon, new restaurant in Utah County that just brought us over and fed us. My slides are going super fast. Okay, George, he gets chicks. He is with Crocs, so he's all over the place. He um, gives chicks, moms, Crocs for free. He was at South by Southwest hiding Crocs for people. Um, George, you can find George at places like the Mom 2.0 Summit, blog her, the gathering place for all kinds of ladies, blissfully domestic, which you should all be, and chicks who click. Half the people... That's right, Marie was there, or was that Jen? Jen? Jen, creative Jen. All right, so anyone been to GNO, Tuesday nights on Twitter? All right, it's crazy. If you have never been, get on TweetGrid. I think this week there were 4,500 4, tweets. Um, okay, so, so design for your end user. TweetGrid, okay, it's all black, and when I turn on TweetGrid, it makes me hear Darth Vader breathing in the background. So, <laughs> design for your end user. Twirl is all beautiful. With over half of the moms using your stuff. All right, so the other thing. I am convinced that if you're raising a squirrel army, most of those squirrels are on the light side, not the dark side of the forest. Even that one has a pink, I would say, lightsaber. So I'm going to qualify him as the light side. They, the dark apps don't work for them. All right, so programmers, when I see dark, like black and gray applications, I feel like I'm watching um, Die Hard 4 when there's the wizard programmer who hangs out in his basement that big guy and he can roll out his keyboards all the time. That's how I feel. I feel like I want you to come outside into the light. So why does it matter? Moms, we're a trillion dollar market. We control over 80% of spending in households. If you don't believe me, last time I said this, there was a guy in the audience It's like, no way, dude, my wife doesn't do that. And I was like, yes way, dude. Like she buys your groceries, your clothes. She probably told you what car to buy and she like really chose where you live. And then he sat down. So. <laughs> 
What are you doing to be down with the mamas? Okay, latest Forrester report says that marketers are raising their social media spending by 52%. I'm just going to skip right through. Why do I care so much? Because I am today's mama. We're a publishing company and online network for moms. I think about this all day long. I want more brands to give me free stuff. You should want to be our BFF. And I don't want black apps anymore. I want like really cool, colorful, colorful ones. So uh, we're totally into microblogging right now. Over 50% of tweets are women. I have that on good authority. Um, you better be on Twitter for customer service. It's more effective for business than Facebook. And guess who's going there in droves? Moms. Guess what we're launching tomorrow? A microblogging platform for moms that sorts with groups, location, totally a targeted community. It launches tomorrow. I talked to the Wall Street Journal this morning. We'll see what happens. Um, wish us luck. <laughs>